had Rob Nolan at his mercy, and he lifted one home, and that's a power play goal at 2.19, and the Thunder up 1-0. Brent Cole the other way. He gives to Mike Wakita. He ends up, and a score! Ryan Jardine and the Mavericks have tied this game at one goal each. This lamplighter coming one minute, 55 seconds into period number two. The faceoff, Schwab takes it and behind the goal, looking to set it up, gets a weak shot away and a score. That one go in the five hole? I think it did. Robbie mm. just couldn't quite close up fast enough and that puck goes in five hole. Jardine to LaFrance and he whistles it wide, the rebound, a scramble taken by Cachamilio. He fires it off the goaltender and a score! Nick Sirota, I think that one may have been blasted off of his knee at end. I want to see a replay on that. It's a power play goal, and these teams are even at 2-2. I think Jill and the even blue line, Mike Wakita, a drive, kicked out the rebound, score! Ryan Jardine, his second goal, and I believe the two that assisted on the first one will get helpers on this one as well. LaFrance and Wakita. Here comes Barry, picks up a head of steam, moves straight up the middle in the high slot. He scores! And a big insurance marker for the Mavericks is Mike Barry, a penalty shot goal, eight minutes and 14 seconds into the third. And Missouri up now four to two. Schwab also there and he fires it back the blue line, a score. A rocket from Dustin Dunahy, and it's a one goal game again at the 9.22 mark of the third period. Line, there's a race for it, here is Griff at the shot, he scores! And you can mark your calendars for April 1st and 2nd because unless the Thunder come up with a big miracle, the Mavericks will have home ice advantage in the first round of the CHL playoffs.